Hello everyone, I am going to give you a quick tutorial on Premiere Pro, kind of how to bring in images or music files and some things that you can do with it. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and click New Project, and here you've got options that pop up. Um, let's name it, I'm going to name this one Puppies. You'll see why in a minute. And I'm going to click OK. The rest looks good for now. Okay, so as this comes up and you're wondering, what am I looking at? Here are some options. So down here is your timeline. You don't see anything yet, but you will in a minute. Um, look at these main tabs up here. Learning means it's going to show you tutorials. It, it's not popping up yet. I don't have anything brought in, but it will pop up. It'll show you things that you can do to learn. Assembly is when you're putting together anything that you're going to um, assemble your video your main parts, which I don't have anything loaded yet, so you're not going to see it. Um, editing is going to give you some additional options um, for just editing different things. You'll notice that your toolbar is here. It's very simple. There are two, four, six, eight tools total um, on the toolbar, so you'll learn those pretty quickly. Color is going to allow you, again, you can't see it because I haven't brought in anything, but it's going to allow you to adjust color. There's effects, audio, graphics, and library. Let me bring something in so you can see. So anytime you're going to bring something in, it's an import. So you're going to go to File, Import. And I have made a file called Puppies. And we're just going to bring in some super cute uh, soft-coated Wheaton Terrier Puppies because that's what my dog is. And over here, I'm going to show you. So it, it brings it down here under puppies. And what I want to do is I want to, um, like you can adjust your view down here. Here's freeform view, icon view, list view. And list view is great. Um, let's make this a little bit bigger and a little bit wider. And what I want to do is now you can see everything that's in there. I want to create a bin for this. And I'm going to call this pictures. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just click on these pictures and I'm going to drag them into this bin. Now this just helps keep everything organized. So that way if I bring in music clips or video clips or extra pictures for something else, I'll know what's in here. So I'm going to click on this and to bring something over to your timeline, click on the top image, then click on the bottom image by holding down shift and it'll select all of them. And then I can just drag it over to the timeline. All right, so now it's gone ahead and it's dragged it over. If I hit the space bar, it's going to play through and I can see the speed of it. Um, and up top here, it gives me this preview of what it's going to look like. Okay, so I'm going to hit stop. Um, if you want to change your speed at any given time, you're just going to drag and highlight this or you can select one and hit command A and it will select all of them. And then you're going to right click on it and go to speed and duration and it will tell you the speed like right now it's saying for each picture it's a little over four seconds four and a half seconds before it shifts if that feels too slow i could change it right here so you always want to check the ripple editing shifting and trailing clips it will make sure there's no gaps or spaces in between them and then you could change it to make it uh slower now I won't bore you with that. You guys probably remember this from earlier on, but that's where you would do that there. Okay, so let's say I'm going to bring in some um, music file clips. So I'm going to file and import, and I have some music that I have set aside. So I'm just going to click a couple of them. Let's do this one, and I'm going to hold down my command key and just click a couple different music files and click import. Now, again, it's going to go into this main area. I I like to always have a bin for everything, so I'll call this bin music. All right, so I'm going to click on all of these, hold down the shift key, and I can select all of them at the same time, and I'm going to go up to music. So now I've got the music files, and now I've got this over here. Okay, so let's say that I wanted my first picture to be one speed, but I wanted the other pictures to be different speeds. Well, I can select these two right here. I can right-click. I can go to speed and duration, and I can make this... You know, instead of four seconds, I'll make it three seconds for just those two. And you notice that they're a little bit shorter than the rest of them. Um, and that's helpful. So that way, if you want to speed up part of it or slow down part of it, that's where you're going to do it. All right, these channels over here, this is video one, video two, video three, and this is audio one, audio two, audio three. Pictures are going to go in on a video spot, even though it's not a video um, because it's an image, and anything audio is going to come down here. So let's say that I wanted to preview, okay, what is looking for adventure sound like? Well, I can double click this and hit the space bar. Hello, world, wake me up and it plays it. 
Okay, I can stop it, double click another one. Oh, that sounds like a good one for puppies, doesn't it? Although the Hello World's kind of fun too. So it will let you double click and preview these and that's gonna be up here. Um, so let's go ahead and take this uh, Looking for Adventure, that's a fun one. I'm gonna grab it and drag it over to my timeline and I'm putting it in the audio section. And so it lines up here with the first one, if I hit the space bar, it plays them together. So I can see what that looks like and I can see my picture up here. Now this audio goes way past where the pictures are. So I'm gonna come over and actually use um, this tool right here, the razor tool. And it's very easy, it lines up right up. See how it, sh it snaps to the edge of that picture? I can click it and I can come over here and grab that um, part that I cut off and just hit the delete key and it now lines right up with the pictures, okay? Now let's say that I want this to fade off nicely and I don't wanna have any kind of weirdness going on. I can go up to effects and um, I can go to, let me see, let me get, get myself right over here. Underneath effects, there's all kinds of things. There's audio effects, there's video effects, video transitions. Um, let's go to audio effects and you can see there's Oh, there's so many kinds of apps, uh, different options. But if you go to audio transitions and you go to crossfade, you've got three examples right here. Just pick them and play around with them, see what they look like, drag it to the end. And actually, once you drag it, you can expand that. I did that wrong. Let me zoom in so you guys can, uh, you and myself both can see better. Okay, you can actually click and expand that a little bit more. Anytime you want to jump the timeline, all you have to do is click up in the timeline and it'll jump it. Hear how that faded out? So I could have picked that to fade it out sooner or less depending on what I wanted to do. Very handy to have if you're going to transition from one type of music to another type of music. All right, let's say I wanted to put a different type of music in between these. I would go back to my razor tool and I'm gonna line it up with this picture and I'm gonna cut it from here to here. So those two are gonna have a different type of sound. I'm gonna click the middle one and delete it, all right? So coming back up to here, let's bring a fade over to this audio. <clears throat> that way it starts to fade out. And let's pick the this show, this one. Bring it in. Now see how if I bring this over top of it, it's going to cover over that audio. So sometimes when I'm editing these, I like to bring in on the second audio track and then go back to my razor tool and snap right here. And then I can come over here, click this section, delete it, and I can actually bring this up into the middle. So it's going to sound like this. Let me go back just a little, click up here. And you can see. So I could do that for certain like if you had certain sections of your audio and so now that wasn't a very graceful transfer you might want to add a different fade or maybe it doesn't even make sense to have more than one music track but that's how you would do it is right there okay you can also do let's bring in this cute robot theme music right let's bring that on the second one if you were to put more than one audio track Don't know if you can tell, but it's playing both of them at the same time. The um, robot theme is a little bit softer, so you don't hear it as much. And let's say that that's a problem and you want to make this a little bit quieter so you can hear the robot. We'll double click on this and you can see up here, um, you always have to make sure that your playhead is over top what you're working on. So yeah, we can see this picture, but let's say that I want to be able to hear this audio better. So I'm gonna come over here and there's, um, if you click effects control, you can go to level and here's my level. So I'm gonna take it all the way back to the beginning and I'm gonna turn it down really low. So if I play it, it'll play all of them. Hear how low that is. And then let's say I wanted to raise it a little bit notice the bar right here goes up higher so then it'll play it a little bit louder and then I can raise it a little bit more and it plays it even louder so here's what it's gonna sound like bringing it back to the beginning so you can hear that one soundtrack plays while the other one plays but you could have lowered the volume on one versus the other okay so that's kind of the gist of getting the audio for now. Let's go back to the pictures. All right, so let's decide that you wanted to put a title 
on these pictures. Now notice that I'm clicking on this picture but nothing changes. Why doesn't it change? Well that's because you're viewing it from right here. So you always have to click over top of where you want to view it to move it and if you're working with a picture if it's selected down here the effect isn't going to go on this one even though you're viewing it up here. You have to click that. So those are some key things to remember. Okay, but let's say that you wanted to bring in, um, let's go to Essential Graphics right here. Let's say you wanted to bring in the title for this. Then there's all kinds of graphics under there that you can grab and there's some fun titles. Let's say I bring this one over. You just click it and drag it above the image that you want it to be. And it's gonna tell me that it can't find the fonts because I'm not connected to Adobe. That's fine, I'm just gonna hit enter. And so you can see that as I scrub this over top of it, you can see that title comes up. So then what I would want to do is if I wanted to edit this, I could just click on, like right now it's faded because this title is supposed to fade in and out. Um, I can click on over here to my tools, the, the type tool. And I can click it and let's just say dog. Okay, so let's go back and hit play and see what it looks like. All right, so there's my title. Now it's like a, a fady title. If I didn't want that dog to go past the image, I could just click on it with, um, I really should use the selection tool, click on it with the selection tool and scrub it back or forward. And you could even make it come on after the image is popped up, whatever you wanna do. There are tons of options under browse for you to look at and you can create your own. So if like, let's say we go over to this picture right here and I just wanted to type on it, I could just click the type tool and I could type dog, there we go. So it's gonna pop up as graphic. I could actually give it a stroke. I could give it a background. So I just gave it a black background. Whoa, that's too dark. Let's bring your opacity down um, so that you don't see that through as much. And let's widen the, um, the background behind the word. And there we go. So those are some options too. You can hand do it. Here's your font um, that you can change. So I know that's a lot of information I just gave you. Take that. Hopefully that will help you be able to bring in your pictures, to add your audio, play around with the audio, add um, a title to each picture. So you can either go under effects and browse and pick a fancy title or you can go to your type tool and just click on if you click on a picture you can type what you want to type and let it appear so um, go ahead and play around with this for the next couple days and then hopefully you guys come up with something cool and let me know what questions you have and while you're at it make sure you check out kind of what these other options are if any of these panels get on your way um, you can expand them back and forth up and down you can click this on or off um, you can check out like editing versus assembly. Here's the learning comes up. You can get rid of that. So just close out what you don't need. Take it slow. And if there's something you want to do and you can't figure out how to do it, just ask me and I'll, and I'll help you. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, guys.